Hey there, this is Leo from ThemeJewels.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to go about customizing your Google Map. As you can see, we'll be customizing the color scheme of this map found here. So the first thing I'll show you is where to find the code that will do that. So what you'll need to do is actually change the properties that are found here. Now you can do this by hand, alternatively you can use a tool online that uh, gives you color schemes. So I'll actually show you one that I've used. This tool will allow you to change the colors to suit your needs. You can change the landscape, you can change the roads, you can change the water as well as point of interests. And what's great about it is you can actually see it all happening in real time. So as you can see, I've lowered the saturation of the landscape, and now I've increased it. So once you have the color scheme you want, what you do is you scroll down here, and as you can see, it's updated all the properties that correspond with your updates. So for the purpose of the demo, I'll just show you what it's like to update one of these properties. We'll grab the landscape and we'll go into the text editor and we'll just add it in here. Now one thing to bear in mind is there's this global property here which changes the hue of all the maps. So as you can see I've added the feature type landscape but you may not be able to see much of a change if I refresh it. Well, probably you can see a little bit, but it's still the global style is applied. But let's suppose we didn't want that. What you would do is you would just remove this line, save it, refresh, and there you go. So you can obviously play around with the colors to suit your needs. But that's pretty much how easy it is to do that. Let me just put the styles to what they were. Because now I'm going to show you how you can update the coordinates of the map. So let's refresh that, make sure it's all back to normal. Yep, great. So there's a specific location here. But if you wanted to put your location, then once again you can use this tool online now what I've done is I just found a, an address and I've put it in here okay so what that will do to find that location and if you scroll down you get the latitude and longitude coordinates so then it's just a matter of copying that across And if you scroll down, there's two areas actually that you will need to update the coordinates. This is for the marker, so let's do that first. Oops. And up here, because this is for the map. And let's just go get the longitude coordinates. and we'll update that and we'll also make sure that the custom marker on the map will reflect accordingly and if I go back refresh you will see I have a new location there so once again thanks for joining me and I'll catch up with you soon bye